All right, guys and gals, we are back. We're back here at Flip Flop Nation headquarters, AKA the kitchen. So here we're here, right here. We got everything laid out on the table. Uh, we've been sorted everything and pulled some comps. And of course, we'll put those on the screen as we discuss what we found. Of course, we're gonna let you know what we found, how much we paid for it, and what we expect to, of course, get out of it when we sell it on either eBay or Poshmark. So of course, let's jump in here and figure it all out. Now, our first stop of the day was a Goodwill. And at this particular Goodwill, well, I ended up spending $10.06 on two suit jackets, blazers, uh, suit coats, I don't know what you call them. But all I know is we picked them up and we hope to uh, flip them into some cash. So of course our very first one is this Ralph Lauren brown jacket here. Realistically, I think we can get 40, 30, 40, maybe 50 out of this suit jacket. We'll say 40. And of course, I picked up this Brooks Brothers linen jacket here. Very good quality. I think we can get 40 out of that one as well. So $10 into 80 bucks. Not a bad start, right? Now, our second stop of the day was another Goodwill. And at this particular Goodwill, we spent $7.74. And here's what we picked up. This Kodak Combo Ink Cartridge. I think we can get $40 to $50 out of this new unopened ink cartridge. 40 to 50 dollars on that our next item that we picked up was this pair of corduroy orvis brisbane moss pants nice size great condition no flaws i believe we can get 30 to 40 dollars out of this pair of pants so Let's just be conservative, say 30, 40, we'll call it $70. Now, our next stop of the day is a Salvation Army that's right down the street from that Goodwill. And all we found was this one shirt. Now, I did find some other things. I just didn't pull the trigger on them, either, you know, some shoes that had a little more wear than I really like, or whatever the case may be. So we just come out of there, one shirt. Today, we got a 10% discount. So our $5.99 polo here ended up costing us $5.39. Now, it's a great polo. New with tag. Peter Millar, new with tag. This is the Crown Crafted, tailored fit, new with tag, MSRP, $98. Of course, you know, one good thing about new with tag, well, you get to charge more money and these little, you get all your style code and all your information. You're able to put all that information into the old Google and figure out exactly what you have. And that way you can price it up accordingly. Now this one here, well, the only downside is each, each sleeve has a company logo. So this one right here is some kind of communications logo and on this side as well. It's a different one, but I still believe being new with tag, this for stretchy performance type material, I still think we can get 40 to $50 out of this polo. $5 into 40, not bad. All right, so our next stop of the day, we struck out. It was another Goodwill and we did not, we did not score, but our fourth Goodwill confused now. One, two, three. Our fifth stop was a good one. There we go. So, anywho, our fifth stop of the day went in there and spent $11. And this is what we found. Now, I normally don't pick up a whole lot of t-shirts. 
because most t-shirts don't sell well unless they're vintage t-shirts or something, but <clears throat> I thought this would be a nice t-shirt. Actually, I might keep it for myself. That's the real reason why. But I had a dollar and fifty cent, whether I decide to keep it for myself or not. We can take that dollar and fifty cent and turn it into twelve, fourteen dollars easy. Our next item is this heavy white denim Wrangler Pearl Snap shirt. I mean, good work shirt, no stains, no rips. It's a great size, it's an extra large, beautiful shirt. I think we should be able to get 25, 30 bucks out of this shirt. It's one of those heavy denim, kind of like a, kind of like a jacket more than just being a regular shirt. All right, and then our next item is this game winner hunting vest. Picked this up, didn't know much about it. I mean, you know, but hey, you know, I saw the camo, real tree camo, the vest. I'm thinking, hey, why not? Looked it up, I'm thinking, 25, 30 bucks for that. So we'll call it 25, 25 and 10. So 11 into 60 bucks, not too bad. All right, so our last stop of the day is where we really, really scored. Yeah, it was another Goodwill. So we hit up five Goodwills and one Salvation Army and this very last stop I just wish I'd been went just to that one because I didn't get enough time to even go over everything. I mean, but we found some great stuff. Let's start it out. See how much did we spend? We spent $96.46. But we got some great stuff. So let's get into it. Our very first is this pair of Timberland work boots. The Timberland campsite, I mean, a little bit of cleaning. I'll probably change out the shoe strings on these things, but I'm thinking, you know, this pair of boots, 25, 30 bucks. Then we picked up this pair of Skechers. I'm thinking realistically, on these sketchers, we should be able to get 25, 30 bucks out of these. I mean, this style is in, it's a retro look from the 90s, Y2K, that chunky boot shoe. I think we get 25, 30 bucks out of it. Now, let's continue with boots, right? Bam. These are Doc Martens. These are the church monkey boot. The slick leather. I mean, there's some few scuffs and everything on here. We'll take our, clean them up as best we can. Which, they're pretty doggone clean. I'm thinking realistically, 75, maybe a hundred dollars. That's how good a shape these boots are in. I mean, if I didn't have those scuffs on the on the toes, I wouldn't even thought they had been worn. Man, oh man. Our next item, we picked up this little bag of toys here. I mean, they all work. It's the VTEC. Go go cars or whatever they are. I got a police car in here and a helicopter and a train. I figure that we can take $15, $20 for these. Now, what's next? Let's go into another pair of boots. These boots right here are white diamonds, made in Mexico, exotic leathers. 
I mean, there's some damage on the toe, just a little bit of scuffing, a little bit of creasing. Of course, the soles look pretty good. 40 bucks, maybe 50. Picked up this Andes. These are clippers. Cheers to give you doll the haircut. Used six different uh, attachments. I'm thinking we can get $40 to $50 out of that. I'm gonna leave it in there because I need to clean it up. I don't want to get dog hair everywhere. All right, what we got next? Okay, a pair of Ralph Lauren chino pants. It's got that stripe down the side. 25, 30 bucks for that pair of pants. Vintage Ralph Lauren knit sweater, size large, got that rugby striping, 25, 30 bucks for that. Now this is not a great brand to pick up, but camo always sells good. Uh, these are size 50. I just took a chance at it. That, I mean, the shorts are like three dollars and seventy-five cents. I'm thinking three seventy-five into fifteen to twenty dollars. So I picked those up. What's next? What's next? A Louisville catcher's mitt, fast pitch softball catcher's mitt, thirty-five. 40 bucks. I always try to pick up about every about every uh, baseball glove mitt I find. I at least have to check them out. I got to pull comps on them because one, this is the time of year to be selling that stuff. Two, a lot of them bring a lot of good money. Five bucks into 50. All day long. All day long. All right. Got another pair of boots. These are the Dan Post. Cowboy boot, this is blue leather. Of course, I've heard the name. I can't find this particular boot to get an actual good comp on it, but I can look similar. And I'm thinking $40 for these. All right, what's next? I got two more items. Got this pair of Uggs right here. Great shape. Needs a little bit of cleaning. Let me tell you about these. While I was searching the shoe racks, I had these in my buggy, and I had all kind. I had all these other boots and stuff. Everything in my buggy, and my buggy's filled up. And I got these. These were sitting on top, you know. And, well. Some lady comes by and she picks them up. And I said, uh, excuse me. Oh, is, he, is, is this your buggy? I said, yes, ma'am. She goes, oh, I thought with so many shoes and stuff, I, mean, I thought they was putting out shoes. So I grabbed them. But here you go. So I got them. I started to be nice, say, nah, here, you can have it. But Uggs, this shape, 40, 50 bucks for these things. I, I, Call me greedy, I guess. I mean, maybe I should have let the woman have them, but. Now, our last, and this is what started the shoe game off at this uh, particular, or this set of boots. Great shape. Might do a little bit of cleaning, but you see that? logo, the emblem on there, Fry Boots. This particular pair of boots, 
This is called the, what was it called? It's the banana color, maybe it's called the campus. Riding boot. $400, I see them going for. $400 used. Now I might not get that on this particular boot. Mine not, might not be as good a shape as those were, but I'm gonna clean them. Three to four hundred dollars for this set of boots. Guys and gals, is that not a home run? Fry, F-R-Y-E, Fry boots. Always be on the lookout. Bolo, Made in USA. Fry boots. But I think I've done awesome. I mean, I think the three pair of cowboy boots or riding boots. I picked up a couple of pair of work boots, some Uggs, a ball glove, an ink cartridge, a couple of pair of pants and a shirt. I mean, today's haul, out of all of this, I'm telling you, I spent 130 bucks, and I should be able to turn that $130 into about $1,000. I mean, almost 10 times my money, I think. Nine times my money. I don't know, I'm not good at math. I just know it's gonna add up. I can count one, two, three. Well, I got flip-flops on. I can count to 20 today. But anywho, guys and gals, whoo, this was an awesome, awesome day. I mean, any day you can go out there and spend a hundred dollars, hundred thirty dollars, and potentially make a thousand. I mean, that is definitely why I like doing this. I enjoy the hunt. I enjoy making that money. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Hit that little dingy bell. That way you'll be notified of all future videos. Man. Until next time, well, we'll be seeing ya.